good morning or afternoon. This is my last uh, contribution to the workshop. The, the workshop. I hope uh, it has been very successful. I know it probably will because I I I I, I witness how much effort town um, allocated to preparing it, and also because I know the quality and the caliber of the of the people that are attending. That means you, you, the students. So um, I'm I'm quite confident that it was a good one, uh, and I hope that my contribution was useful, despite the clumsiness of my attempts at uh, managing this 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 medium. Today, what I am going to do is to, to give you a last two, uh, last two examples of uh, um, successful uh, interface between knowledge and policy decision taking. Um, there are many uh, examples, not just two, uh, and uh, I can suggest that you visit um, the, the website of the UNIP uh, uh, Equator Initiative, which is here. That is a very interesting play, uh, site to, with um, dozens of, of cases um, of successful um, uh, s sustainable, no, sustainable um, management activities, and most of them include some, some way or another uh, the, the participation of scientists or the usage of, of local knowledge. So, it's it's worth visiting, and there are other places where you can you can visit. For instance, if you look at the reports of the GEF uh, biodiversity uh, um, group of, of 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 grants, it's millions and millions of dollars that have been spent in that in in in, in uh, mostly conservation and sustainable management um, projects, and many are quite successful. So uh, that would be my, my suggestion. The first case I'm going to, to talk about is um, the management of a population of a very large freshwater Amazonian fish called the Arapaima. Uh, Arapaimas are huge fishes as you can see from the image this side of the screen. Um, and uh, they are overexploited in many parts of the Amazonian basin. Uh, in Guyana, in particular, uh, they are uh, there is a, a government ban to the use of this uh, species. Uh, a government ban in a country with the size and the communications of Guyana is basically just an expression of wishful thinking. So the communities keep using it. But uh, some of them are concerned about the fact that uh, they see that they are diminishing in terms of, or they were diminishing, uh, and they didn't want to lose their resource. So uh, they, uh, there is a particular group of communities called the North Rupanauni uh, set of communities uh, that uh, together with a local NGO uh, called Iwokrama uh, decided to... Um, uh, well, uh, start start a project of sustainable management. Uh, I'm taking um, most of this information from uh, from this uh, reference here to my to my right. Um, the 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 local people, the local indigenous peoples, had their own system of monitoring because they know the rivers very well and they had uh, a system of observations that allowed them to estimate uh, the numbers of arapaimas uh, present in any particular stream or, 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 or lake. And what uh, the Iwokrama did for them is to bring Brazilian scientists uh, that have been um, Mark recapturing arapaimas south of the border in the Brazilian part of the region, and they had a scientific method to estimate uh, populations. They did a very interesting thing that is very seldom done, which was to compare the results of the of the mark recapture data, which contains uh, uh, well mathematical assumptions and calculations 
there is a model, a multinomial model behind the, the, the calculations. It was combined or contrasted with the results from the from the local community's uh, way of assessing the numbers of arapaimas in the rivers, and it's very interesting because the the correlation is quite good. It's a very uh, a clear case of coincidence between two entirely different procedures. This is something that is fascinating in itself, uh, uh, goes miles against uh, this idea that everything is uh, relative and that uh, every science is a social construct. Of course, science knowledge is constructed socially, but knowledge of nature reflects the unity of nature and the unity of our intelligence, which is the same. Uh, with whatever the people, whatever the whatever the the nationality or the culture, so these two things together, the unity of nature and the unity of intelligence, allows different systems of knowledge to converge. In many in many cases that have been documented, um, this is an entire area of discussions, and I'm not going to dwell into it, I'm sorry for the parenthesis. But in any case, in this particular situation, in the Arapaima and the Brazilian Mar capture system, both the indigenous knowledge system and the uh, Western science system coincided very well. <coughs> so, with that knowledge, uh, the communities organized themselves uh, to start um, changing the way they uh, were extracting the arapaimans from the rivers. Um, this is a situation where the, the national government was mostly not involved at all, but at least they didn't uh, hinder the efforts, which is one of the main, main roles of governments in the, all over the world. It's to hinder the efforts of peoples to do their own thing. Uh, well, in this case, the government didn't care or didn't know or whatever, for whatever reason, didn't participate. So most everything was done by the communities, the local the local communities, the, the NGO, which is a national NGO, Iwo, Iwo Krama, and um, the foreign scientists, Brazilians, that were helping. The result of this thing is a management system that was uh, derived participatorily by the by the local stakeholders and that has been reported as working very well the populations of arapaimas are stable and, um, in that region um, the, the the fish still is endangered uh, overall in the entire amazon basis but in that particular region it is both used as a resource by the communities and it's also um, sustainably uh, steady. It's not going down, the populations are not going down as it was happening before. So this is a very nice case uh, where um, knowledge has been transferred into, into management, into policy, and um, I will recommend you to read the, 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 original, uh, the original sources. <coughs>